Initially you had that skid and now you have, you're on a three fight run. How, is, how are you feeling right now? I feel good. I think it should be four fight. I didn't lose to the Japanese kid. I thought I beat him. So I, I, for me, it should be four fights. But I feel good, you know. Uh, uh, I thought, you know, I lost to Dillashaw. I lost to Birdchick, you know. I thought I beat Tanaka. Um, you know, sometimes uh, you just hit a rough patch and you fall down in life, you know, but you just get up and uh, dust yourself off and believe in yourself and keep going. And give yourself an opportunity to do great things. And that's what I've done. Fight in Mexico. Obviously, the conditions weren't ideal at all. You took the fight on super short notice. You had a really rough weight cut. How is it now, just having a full camp and coming in prepared? It's good, you know. Uh, you know, the the, the, the short notice thing. It's, it's a it's a it's a mental thing. I've been preparing my whole life. I don't need a training camp. I've been doing this since I was like 13 years old. You know, wrestling and stuff. So, uh, but it's great having a training camp. Be a little bit more sharper. You know, not as fat. Uh, the weight cut was a lot easier on me. Um, you know, uh, it's just, it's just uh, feels good to be a little bit more sharper in the fight. I think I could have did a little bit better, but uh, I got the win and, and I'm pretty happy. Is that the fight you expected? Yes, uh, I knew Ronnie would be tough. Um, you know, I, I thought I would do a little bit better of putting things together better, you know, offensively. Uh, my defense was really good, you know, I just got caught with the headbutt. But, uh, I expected a tough fight. Uh, he's a ranked fighter, a veteran. You know, I think he's been fighting since he was like 18 years old or something. You know, I knew it was going to be a, a, a hard war in his in his home country. Did anything surprise you at all in the fight? Uh, he opened up a lot more. He threw a little bit more diverse attacks. You know what I mean? Um, that's probably what surprised me a lot. He was real aggressive, uh, real aggressive, and uh, that surprised me a little bit. But uh, I knew he'd be tough. Like, uh, did you expect that to, to dominate Hany on the ground? Uh, I thought I have equal jiu-jitsu. Uh, jiu-jitsu is right there, both of ours, I think. You know, he has uh, more accolades on paper. He's better, you know, because he did more tournaments. I've, doing, I've been doing jiu-jitsu for a long time with Dave Terrell and Santa Rosa, North Carolina Fight Alliance. I trained with the Diaz brothers, you know, a lot before. I knew my jiu-jitsu is good. I've, um, I thought... It's just whoever does better this night, you know what I mean? Maybe another time he does better. And whoever performs this night better, you know, we're right there on everything. We're all athletics, all athletes. Everybody's right here. It's just whoever shows up this night. And I, tonight, I think I had a better night. Uh, Ronnie's a tough fighter. He'll be back. For a while there, it was more about like keeping your head above water in the promotion. And now that you have a little streak going, do you feel like you can ask for things, opponents, and... Uh, I don't feel like I need to ask for anything in life. Uh, whatever they give me is a blessing, you know. I don't really ask for much. I have my family. I'm blessed with that. Whatever else comes my way, you know, I just take it and face it. Um, I just, you know, I just thank God for the situation. Uh, thank Dana White. Thank Sean Shelby for allowing me to compete uh, on such an uh, awesome, you know, event. And uh, I just thank them for giving me the opportunity to compete against a. a you know, a good, uh, a good ranked opponent like Ronnie. You know. How the massive blood turned the, the fight more difficult for you? Um, it was, it was weird. It was the first time I've been cut like that, really bad. You know, uh, I've been cut practice a little bit, been cut fights, but that one was dripping in my eye a little bit. But it's mental. Like you just don't let it affect you. You know, what I mean, I don't think it did affect me too much. Uh, it's a little bit of blood. If, you know, it just feels like water all over your face. You know. Um, a little bit of blood never hurt nobody, you know? Blood, sweat, and tears, that's what we put into this thing. And, uh, you know, I, I, I'll, that's like my sacrifice is my blood, you know, for this for this victory. It's my team quick turnaround. Do you have any idea of when you want to be back? Uh, I don't know, you know? Uh, I'd like to be back. I'm just trying to make money for my family and, and you know, provide for them. So anytime I'm um, able to compete and make money, you know, uh, I'll, I'll jump at it. So if they offer me something, hopefully another higher ranked guy, so I could, you know, return for the title again, uh, I'll jump at it. You know, uh, this is all um, to provide for my two children and my wife at home, take care of them, and give them uh, better opportunities than I had growing up. Yeah,
talked you, about the title and, and it's interesting because your trajectory has been a little reversed there in that sense. So about getting back to it, do you think about it? Do you have a timeline in your head? Is that something that you focus on? Yeah, you know, at first I wasn't, you know, at first I wasn't thinking about it. It was just about getting, uh, uh, accomplishing a dream and getting my first UFC win, you know. Um, you know, now that I got a streak, beating, uh, putting me in the rankings, hopefully this, this fight, um, now I'm starting to say, okay, you know, now it's more realistic, you know, like, okay, I could get back to that title shot. And I've trained with the champion. I've trained with TJ Dillashaw, the, the, the number one ranked guy. I've trained with like a lot of the top 10 guys in the world, you know, and I know where I stand, you know, I, you know, I know that we're all really close, all of us, you know, and it's just whoever shows up that night. We all have it in us to be a champion. It's just bringing it out and uh, believing in yourself and, and performing, you know, that night out there. And I think I could do that. You talked about not uh, asking for things. Do you think that being more vocal about it uh, would probably help you get there easier, faster? Yeah, yeah. If I, if I talked a lot more, um, called people out, I could do that. You know, if I, I could pretend to be an asshole. I could pretend to call people out. And all, but that's not me. And, um, I, I, I don't know. I just... I, I, I'm not going to sell myself out like that. That's just not me. I'm, I'm not that guy. I don't, I don't think so. You know, maybe, um, you know, I'm not, I'm, I just won't do that. I just won't call nobody out. Um, whoever they give me, you know, um, I'll take it.